I'm Sarah from the School of Self-Reliance and today we're going to talk about keeping the bugs off of you when you're out in the field. First we're going to talk about some chemical products that you can purchase at any local store and then we're going to talk about some natural products that you can make at home yourself. Okay, when you go to your store, whether it's a sporting goods store or Walmart or any other store that carries um, products for ticks, fleas, chiggers, mosquitoes, you can usually find off-brand. Off-brand is probably the nation's most popular chemical to buy for keeping mosquitoes off of you. Um, you usually can find it in a spray can. You can find it in a, a non-aerosol bottle as well. A lot of people like using this. It's not a bad product. It does keep away the bugs. But if you don't like using chemicals, we do have alternatives to use. Sometimes they will sell uh, at Walmart a Skintastic product that usually is, um, contains citronella and a few other chemicals. They're uh, not as harsh as DEET, especially if you have a skin reaction or, or an allergy. Um, Chigaway is another product you can find. This is really good. It does keep ticks and fleas and mosquitoes off of you, but it's primarily um, focused on chiggers. Chiggers are pretty bad for uh, getting bit by them because when they bite you, they uh, cause a um, reaction that you end up scratching and itching for a very long time because they inject the uh, enzyme into your skin when they bite you and, and it's just it's, it's very uncomfortable so keeping some of this in your bug out bag is a good idea. Now I was saying that you can purchase these products at any store they do contain chemicals um, primarily D is the number one ingredient that is in them for keeping mosquitoes and tigger chiggers and uh, fleas and uh, ticks off of you but if you don't like using chemicals let's say you're like my little boy and he is you know easily skin reactions to different chemicals and lotions and products so I have to be very careful about what I purchase then I don't buy these. What I like to do is get natural oils or essential oils. You can purchase these online and I'm going to go through on which ones to purchase here in just a moment and how to mix them. <laughs> so you can see my little guy's out here with me today in the field and I've already sprayed him with some stuff that I make at home. This is homemade bug spray. I don't have a fancy name for it. You can come up with whatever name you'd like um, when you make your own, but mine's just homemade bug spray. And what I've purchased online is essential oils. Now, essential oils are different than the oils you purchase to put in like your bathtub. You know, it's not Calgon, take me away, spa time. This is real essential oils that have been processed from these plants, and that's why I like them, because they are natural. They're 100% uh, um, essential oil. What I like to purchase is tea tree oil, citronella, lavender, eucalyptus, and cedar wood. All of these together make a really good bug spray. It also doesn't smell bad. It doesn't smell like heavy chemicals the way DEET does when you spray it on your clothes and then when you go inside you still smell like bug spray. This is nice. It smells very flowery but at the same time it's not going to attract bees because you've got your tea tree oil in there and your citronella to keep bugs away from you. Tea tree oil is, is a great product. You want to get some of that to put in there. The citronella, this is like the number one bug spray. You get citronella candles and things like that to keep mosquitoes away in your yard. You want to put some of that in there. The lavender I have in here, um, I like this scent because it's calming, it's refreshing, and um, it gives a good scent to the uh, oil, the bug spray that I'm going to put on. Um, eucalyptus, that's just like citronella, and it really works well at keeping bugs off of you. They don't like the scent of it. And cedar wood's the same way. It keeps bugs off of you. They, those three just have a chemical reaction. The bugs have an aversion to it. So when you get these, you want to put a few drops in a spray bottle. You can get spray bottles like this at any hobby or craft store. You can order them online. Um, I think you can even find them in the uh, uh, travel aisle in Walmart. A little, just a little simple spray bottle. I put a few drops of each in here. It depends on how strong you want it. If you want a little bit stronger because maybe you're getting eaten up after you've made your, me uh, your mix, add some more of the oils. That's all I have to do is add a little bit more. And then you're going to take a bottle of vodka. You don't want to get scented or flavored vodka or use whiskey or anything. No raspberry stoli. Put vodka in here, just plain clear liquid. Um, it's going to help the oil so you can aspirate it when you pump it. Um, your oil is going to float to the top and, and settle on top when you're traveling. When it's sitting for a while, that's fine. That's not a problem. You just shake it up when you get ready to use it. And then you spray. You want to get your cuffs, get around your neck, get around your boots, get around the back of your neck and over on your head that's going to keep ticks from dropping on you out of the trees that's going to keep mosquitoes off of you and around your boots it's going to keep ticks and chiggers off of you and you want to be able to get all those areas really good now once you have put this on you're going to have to reapply your bug spray whether it's man-made or natural every few hours this is not nobody has a bug spray that's going to stay on all day and work for 24 hours you have to apply it every two to four hours um, if you're getting to eat up more often than that apply it more often
Okay, one of the last products I want to talk about is a sage bundle. Now, Native Americans use sage bundles for several things. They, it's a ceremonial thing that they will use to cleanse themselves, their huts, their tents, um, their teepees. It's a ceremonial process of, of warding off evil and bad spirits in their culture. But the other reason in Native Americans used sage was to keep bugs away. And believe it or not, sage works great. You can get sage at your local hardware store that sells plants, um, at your local nursery. Buy some sage, plant it in your garden bed, and let it grow. And when it's grown nice and full and you got big leaves on it, you want to pick some. You want to bind them together and hang them upside down to dry. Then you have yourself a sage bundle. Very easy to make, easy to grow, doesn't cost a lot. And all you have to do is throw it in a bag and put it in your uh, bug out bag. Now when you light your sage bottle on fire, you don't want to leave it doing this. You want it to smoke. You see, you see all this beautiful smoke coming off of here? This is going to keep mosquitoes away. It's going to keep the bugs out of your camp. You can get one of these going really easy and put it inside your tent. You can hang it upside down in, inside a poncho shelter or a tent or whatever you're using. It's going to smoke for quite a while. Make sure you put it out before you go to sleep. You don't want to burn your tent down. Um, another option is if you're all sitting out around a campfire. Let's say you got a nice campfire going and your bugs are biting you and you didn't bring your natural oil, you forgot to bring the deed, you can, but you got a sage bundle. Throw this whole bundle in the fire pit. It's going to smoke all night and burn up. And this beautiful smoke has a good scent to it. Some people don't like the smell of sage. To me, it doesn't bother me. It's a good smell. It's going to keep the bugs away. You could sage your clothes, kind of take a smoke bath in it. That would help. You could sage out your tent, do the same thing, kind of smoke bath your uh, tent. But Native Americans use this. It's a great product. It's easy to get, easy to grow, make your own. Keep them in your bug out bag. Now, one of the biggest reasons you want to keep bugs off of you, besides being itchy and scratchy, and yes, my little man wants to blow on the sage bundle. Are you my big helper? Yeah, okay, good job. We'll come back up here. The other reason I want to keep bugs off, not just me, but my child, ticks carry Lyme disease, and you can tell you've been bitten by a tick that has Lyme by the bullseye pattern, the uh, sore that it forms on your body wherever you've been bit. It looks like a bullseye, just like if you were shooting archery. Um, they also carry Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever. And my husband was a victim of that as a child, and it is a very devastating illness. It makes you very, very sick, so you don't want to get bit by ticks. Mosquitoes, well, we know they all carry West Nile virus, and that's another bad disease that you don't want to get. They also carry malaria. Now, we don't see malaria as much in this country because we have, you know, quinine and other medications for it. But if you're ever tramping out in the woods somewhere that's not in America, you need to worry about malaria. So you, don't, you want to keep the bugs off you for that. Chiggers, although you, they're the only risk of really of any type of infection with um, chiggers is getting like a skin infection from itching and scratching and staff or things like that because you're scratching and your fingernails are dirty they're just really uncomfortable and they bite you they ingest an enzyme into your skin and it sits there and it breaks down your skin and it's just that's what causes the itching it's it's miserable you don't want to get by chiggers and as far as fleas same thing we all know fleas you know we're on the rats that carry bubonic plague that started the whole you know black death in europe we don't want to see that and we know that fleas carry that it's a, it's not a good disease to get so get the bugs off of you get a few products put them in your bag you know either buy store bought or make homemade doesn't matter it's your preference but get some stuff keep in your bug out bag that you have it when you're out keep some in your vehicle so if you're out tramping through the woods just for the afternoon um, that way you can keep the bugs off of you it's better to stay safe and and then be sorry later on um, again, I'm Sarah from the School of Self-Reliance. Thanks for watching our videos. Make sure you like us on Facebook, find our videos on YouTube, share our channel, and uh, find our Prep Club blog on WordPress. Um, come back and see us for some more videos. Thanks again for watching.